Hi everyone. In this video, I will introduce you uh, two ways to uh, publish your Jupyter notebook as um, post in WordPress uh, website. Uh, for example, I have this uh, Jupyter notebook, uh, file in central strings formatting methods in Python. Uh, I want to um, publish it uh, in my uh, blog. Yeah, this blog. Uh, the first way, uh, also a very straightforward way, uh, Let's save this uh, Drupal uh, notebook as HTML uh, file. No, let's go to File, Save as or Download as. We use Download as. You see here HTML. We are just click Download. No, you can go to the download folders. You see, it's here. Let's open and see it first. You see, this is the HTML uh, version of the Jupyter Notebook. No, let's close it. We go to our uh, website. Yeah, this one and uh, log in your administrator account. We uh, for the first method, we just go to the post, uh, add new, or or you go to all the post here, add new, or from here, add new. Let's click add new. Then give a title. This title, for example, I give is five essential um, string method, a uh, formatting method, formatting method methods in Python. Just like this. Okay. Now let's uh, see a draft or publish. Uh, we can publish here, published directly. The first method is just to go here. Here's a, you see, this uh, three dot. We go to code editor. Here, yeah, code editor. Okay, then we come back uh, to the um, uh, HTML files that we download as, uh, I mean, so the, P, the Jupyter Notebook, uh, just know uh, we download uh, as uh, HTML file. We just uh, open it, use any uh, IDE, or even you can use a uh, uh, for example, the notepad or the edit uh, the text editor, yeah, anything you have. Here, for example, I use Visual uh, uh, VS Code, yeah, but you can use any others. Yeah, let's open it. You see, this is the HTML uh, code. Now let's go to the editor edit we copy all the files uh, there should be something like a copy all or we choose yeah we can choose all these things i th think for some uh, text editor uh, or code uh, ide uh, you can select all yeah, but here I didn't find select all. Select all of them. Yeah, 
It's a long, yeah, took another book. No, we just a copy. Copy. We go back the website here. You see, we already use the code editor. We just paste the code we copied. Oh, we didn't copy. Oh, copy. Yeah, here's if there's some space, you can. Um, uh, delete this space or uh, you can go back uh, maybe we go back here the, we go to the visual editor we click here you can use this uh, shortcut control plus shift uh, plus alt plus m you can use this uh, short uh, Short cut. Yeah, let's go back. You see, there's some space or other things we should delete. You see, we delete this. For example, uh, here's also uh, already there's a title, there's a repeat title. Uh, we can delete. See, we just modify or edit this file a little bit. Okay, this is the, uh, you see, all the, uh, the post. Then you can publish, publish it. Okay, this is the first method. Uh, for the second methods, let's go back. We need some uh, plugins. In fact, there are two uh, plugins. The first one, uh, also uh, optional one, uh, you can use your hosting file manager uh, to uh, do the, these steps. But here, uh, I use the easy way. Let's go to plugins and add a new. I use a file manager thing. I can upload. Uh, files directly from uh, my uh, backend of uh, uh, WordPress website. There's uh, different ones, uh, file managers or advanced file managers. Uh, both of uh, these two plugins are excellent. I choose this one. Yeah, choose this one, install. Then active. Yeah, you see, it's here, file manager. Another plugin. Yeah, let's uh, install these two plugins. Uh, then we go to the next step is iframe. iframe. Add a new. We still add a new I frame. You see, there's also different uh, plugins, advanced I frame, I frame. They are all good. I use this one. Uh, yeah, it's more uh, straightforward. You see. We just put iframe, uh, the, uh, here's the URL, uh, width, height, you see, this short code uh, we can use. Then I use this one, iframe, install, active, activate. No, let's go to uh, the second step of this uh, second method. We go to the file manager. Just know I said you can use your uh, localhost uh, file manager, uh, your your hosting. Yeah, means not localhost. 
uh, uh, any uh, your uh, website uh, hoster like Namecheap, GoDaddy, or so. But here, yeah, it's an easy way. I said uh, we go to File Manager, just click. You see, this is all the um, all the uh, WordPress uh, site uh, files. But here we click uh, create a new folder. It's much easier uh, for you to manage uh, your uh, Jupyter notebook. But you also can uh, upload to your uh, media folder. But here, I just click uh, a new uh, folder. Just here, see, new folder. Let's click. We name it, for example, Jupyter Notebook. Like this, I think we can easily know this is our uh, group notebook folder. Let's press enter. Yeah, it says new folder uh, complete. We just click here, open a folder, or just click the folder to open it. No, we upload our uh, HTML file of the Jupyter uh, Notebook. We are just uh, hold and drag inside it. No, you see, we finished. No, let's come back. The uh, the post let's post here. Uh, no, we are for example uh, we still use this one. We just uh, edit, or oh, maybe we use another one, or oh, we will delete all the things. Uh, we add a new. Uh, here we just give any name. For example, we just uh, use uh, Jupiter uh, Python string. Any name we just test. Okay, this one. But no, we use the data free. We just type uh, here. We can use uh, the uh, brick. Oh, the easy way is we add uh, here. We type i free. We can't find it. In fact, we can't find it, but uh, we use it this way. We type uh, I free. Then the SRC, the address, the I mean the US URL. The URL is the address. Uh, of your first is your domain name. I mean, here in fact I use a local host. This is uh, not the online version. This is the uh, local version. Just your domain. Domain name. This is the domain name. Then the folder just now we created Jupyter Notebook. 
explain the file name. The file name. We go to the dashboard to copy the file name. Yeah, this is the file name. We just uh, here is rename. We just copy the whole, include the extension. Yeah, HTML. Okay, now let's preview. Let's see how it looks like. Preview in a new tab. You see, this is the uh, the post. It's just like the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, compare these two methods. Uh, these methods, you see, is just look like uh, what we have in our uh, Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, this one. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, for this one, it's just a whole uh, block. Uh, it's one block. But you can still copy, you see, but you can't modify uh, in the post. Uh, you have to go to your group notebook or uh, you can edit the uh, HTML, uh, HTML files. Now for example, I show you here, you can modify here. Uh, there's a edit the code yeah here for example we delete something or change the title uh, you can edit uh, directly here okay then we publish or save draft okay this is the video today thank you